Today, we're gonna to show you how a DT Swiss Star Ratchet Free Hub Body System works, and we're gonna show you how to clean and lubricate and maintain it, so you can do this at home to make sure your bike is running sweet as. So, we've got a bike here with a DT Swiss 240 Hub on the back with a Star Ratchet system, so we're gonna jump in and show you how to do it. First, you just need to remove your wheel and get it on the workbench. For this job, we're gonna keep it super simple for you guys to do at home. We're gonna leave the cassette on the free hub body. So the DT Swiss hubs are held together by a tolerance fit. So being in the frame and done up tight is what holds the hubs together. So when they're outside the bike like this, there's actually not much holding them, to, holding them together. So what we're gonna to do to pull the free hub body off is we're going to use the cassette for a bit of leverage. We're gonna grab each side and we're slowly gonna like rock backwards and forwards. And what we're gonna do is that's gonna pop off the end cap like that. The end cap here is what's holding the whole hub together. Once you've got the end cap popped off, we can go nice and slow, making sure none, none bits fall out. Then we can remove each part. There should be four pieces making up the Star Ratchet system. We have two Star Ratchet rings that are the exact same, and two return springs that are the exact same. So these are all interchangeable, but as long as we get the orientation in the correct direction. So the basics, this system is really, really simple and it works beautifully and it's easy to look after. So the basic fundamentals is we have a return spring, which is a cone shape. And the smaller side of the cone is designed to press against the back side of the ratchet. So when we put the spring in the freehold body, we'll put it in this way like this. The star ratchet ring is splined around the outside, which locates into the freehold body and then the spring allows it to slip in and out, like this. Now the hub is the exact opposite to this. So the spring will go the opposite direction. So the, the small side will be facing the star ratchet. And then we grab our other star ratchet and this one here locates into the hub and does this. So the whole design is the two springs push these two, these two rings together and the teeth on these rings engage, engage in forward direction and disengage in the backwards direction. And this is where you get your clicking noise from. Just like that. Every time you service your bike, what you'll need to do is clean and lubricate the surface on these to ensure it's always running optimally. So we'll run you through the process doing that. So first you wanna lay out all your parts nice and neatly. You will need some sort of cleaner. This here is a, a degreaser. Anything will work fine to clean these up. We'll give them a really good clean up. These ones are already really good, fortunately. So these ones are look good, but you might have to really get into the little grooves to make sure they're nice and clean. We'll also clean the springs. And also importantly, we'll clean out will clean out the spline surfaces in both the hub and the free hub body itself. So give those a really thorough clean and then we'll move on to the next stage on this. Once you've got all four pieces of the star ratchet cleaned up and then the spline elements of the hub and the free hub body cleaned up, we're ready to lubricate them and put it all back together and go for a ride. So the one unique thing that we'll need for this process is some DT Swiss special, DT Swiss special grease, which is specially designed for these star ratchets. If you don't have this, some slick honey or some regular free hop body grease will probably be okay. Uh, if this is really, really dry and it requires lubrication, almost anything will be better than nothing. Although I'd highly recommend you try to source the correct grease for this job. So with our grease, we can start to assemble this. I'd like to start with the springs. Just a very thin smear on the springs so they're not dry and then we can put the springs back where they go. So remember the cone facing towards the star ratchet. So put that one back in where it goes. Same goes for this one. And this one can go back into the free hub body and sit where it needs to go. And then we need to do the star ratchets. I like to get a good thick smear on these and give them a really good wipe around. 
both on the splines on the outside and on the mating teeth between the two ratchets. But just give them a really good grease up, make sure they're nice and nice and slick. Then we can put our first one onto the hub side. Remember the, the, the splines facing outwards. And this one will locate here. And we can just test that it's nice and slick and it's not sticky. Then we can do our second one. Get it nice and slippery. And we can insert this one, the exact reverse what we just did to the hub. So this one's going with the star ratchet face facing away from the free hub body. So it's actually going to face the other ratchet face. So we can get that located in there, make sure it feels nice and slick. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to lubricate the shaft, the shaft where it, the axle slips through the center of the bearings. For this job, we can just use some regular grease. So we'll just get some of that grease, put it on here, and wipe that in there. Now we're ready to put it all back together. So to do this, we can start either with the ratchets on their corresponding parts, or we can just put them both on the hub to start with like this. Doesn't matter either way. But first, what we'll need to do once we start putting it back together is make sure this spring stays here, make sure they're sitting where they need to be, to be, and then we can slip it on. And very carefully, just slip it on all the way in, and we can rotate backwards a little bit in the clicking direction just to make sure they seat correctly. And once we're happy that they're all seating correctly, the only thing we need left to do is push the end cap on nice and firm, which once that's on, good to go. And that sounds fantastic. What you'll typically find is when these are freshly cleaned and lubricated, the sound will be a bit quieter and then it will progressively get noisier and noisier as it's working towards requiring another service again. So this applies to DT Swiss Star Ratchet, which is on uh, 350 hubs and 240 hubs and 180 hubs, uh, but not the latest iteration called Star Ratchet EXP, which we'll do another video on coming up in the near future. So if you've got a DT Swiss rear hub with a Star Ratchet in it, now you can go home and try this yourself. Uh, typically, you want to do this, you can do this as regularly as you want, but a few times a year, typically two or three times a year with each service, if you do a really muddy bike race or a muddy ride, you might want to pull this out as a preventative maintenance item. But put the wheel back in the bike, make sure it engages correctly and works like it should, and then you can go out and hit the trails and go for a ride.